Good evening, I'm Dave Morris. Coming up in today's editions of The Play. How the tension in Iraq is affecting the prices at the pump. I look back at Barry Switzer's departure from OU and another chance for rain. You know, it's election season in Oklahoma. In fact, voting in the primary elections happens on Tuesday. We've seen a whole lot of he said, she said. In fact, we're seeing a whole lot of she said, she said. Republican candidate Joy Hoffmeister today accused state school superintendent Janet Parisi of violating the federal privacy laws of students, including special needs students, and called for a federal investigation. Hoffmeister said emails show that Barisi had full knowledge of the violations and refused to do anything about it until she was pressured by state school board members, legislators, and the media. Our Tim Willard will have more on the heated superintendent race in Friday's Oklahoma. And meanwhile, the voting has already started. Voters had the option of heading to the county election board offices to cast an early ballot in the many primary elections. In fact, Governor Fallon did so today. The offices will open again on Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. The county offices will be open again on Saturday, but only for state and federal races. The hours are 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on June 21st. As tensions in Iraq increase, oil prices are also heating up. Energy reporter Adam Wilmoth reports that global oil production last year was about 90.3 million barrels per day and oil consumption was just shy of that. Iraq has the fifth largest proven oil reserve in the world and produced about three million barrels per day last year. Do the math. If that oil is removed from the global market, there could be supply disruptions. Today I'm resigning as head football coach of the University of Oklahoma, effective immediately. This is the most difficult decision I've ever had to make. But I have come to the conclusion that my resignation is in the best interest of the football program, the university, and Barry Switzer. On this day 25 years ago, Barry Switzer resigned as head football coach at OU. The Oklahoma's Barry Trammell takes a look back at Barry Switzer's career and the state of the Sooner program since he left. All right, and whether there's another chance for showers this evening, the highest chances for rain are in western Oklahoma and northern Texas. The possibility for rain and scattered showers continues into the overnight hours and into Friday. Highs will be close to 90 tomorrow and through the weekend, and we could see another round of showers and storms early next week. These stories and more in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and online at newsok.com. Have a great Thursday evening, everyone.